Hey guys, thanks for stopping by my video today, and I'm going to show you how to make your very own roach chow. I use it for dubia roaches, um, but virtually you could use this for any kind of feeder insect. That's crickets or mealworms, whatever it may be, it'll work. And uh, this is very simple. A lot of people try to overcomplicate this, but um, this is a more natural version of roach chow that I think is healthier. A lot of people like to use cat food or dog food, fish flakes, and all sorts of crap that you don't really need. A lot of those dog foods and uh, fish foods have a lot of stuff in them that wouldn't be beneficial for your pets. Um, and the whole goal right here is to gut load your roaches um, the best you can so that your reptiles that you're keeping are, are healthy. So this is very simple. Um, just to run you through, our base is gonna be cornflakes. I got all this from the dollar store except for a few things. Um, got these cornflakes for a dollar, big box. Uh, we've got some wheat thins here. Some people call them wheat a bix or something else, but uh, these are just some cheap dollar store wheat thins and regular instant oatmeal. Um, you're also going to need to get some kind of uh, bearded dragon pellets or some kind of uh, even tortoise pellets would work um, but being that I'm mainly going to be feeding my dubious to my dragon I got some bearded dragon pellets so um, next thing you're going to need is some good calcium right here we have the best calcium that you can buy um, it's been tested a lot of breeders use this calcium it's good stuff um, but just to show you you can use really any calcium uh, I've got a bunch of different kinds. There's some Zoomed, here's a bigger thing, and then uh, this is just some Walmart brand calcium. That will work too. Just make sure you have some calcium. And also, uh, you need a good multivitamin, multivitamin sorry. Uh, and this Vionate is great for all sorts of reptiles and all animals. It's got an insane amount of uh, good nutrients in it, but a lot of people like to throw a lot of protein in there from the dog food and different kinds of uh, animal chow. You don't really need to throw that much protein into your roach chow. It's not great for your dragon and uh, nor the roaches either. So you want to keep it balanced and this recipe is going to keep it balanced. So um, the other things you're going to need is a container to put all your chow in. Uh, a blender. If you don't have a blender you can use a a bag to crush all this up, but I would highly recommend you get a blender. So um, let me go ahead and show you how to make this chow. It's pretty easy. So I'm going to take my blender cup here, and I've got one cup of cornflakes. As you can see, I dropped a few there. Put them back in there. We're going to go ahead and throw our wheat thins in there. Throw the bearded dragon pellets. Let's see if I can open one of these up. Some oatmeal. Make sure that you're using regular oatmeal, nothing like blueberry or brown sugar, just regular oatmeal. And you don't want too much. I'm just going to throw one pack in here because that should be plenty. It helps keep it from clumping and uh, it's a good source of nutrients and um, a good amount of protein. Not too much though. So go ahead and put this on if I can do it one-handed. Come over here and pulse it. All right, and after it's, uh, you grind that up, this is whenever I like to add my vitamin. Okay, so at this point you would add your um, calcium, but I've already got my vitamin mixed with calcium, um, pre-mixed in here, I did it earlier. But I'm gonna take two scoops of the multivitamin and the calcium, and that should be plenty enough for what you're doing. All you gotta do after that is grind that up and it'll have a finished product. I'll show you what it is in the end. 
there you have it. There's the final product of your roach chow. It's got a little bit of color in it from the bearded dragon food, but you just take this and uh, dump it out to a Tupperware container. It's nice so you can keep it fresh. That's the key. And uh, it's a nice powder chow, so your roaches are going to be able to, or your feeder insects are going to be able to easily eat this. Um, you can obviously increase the size of the recipe, but uh, just for example sake, I made this and this makes a, a pretty decent amount of chow. This was probably the last two weeks right here. If you guys like this video, like it, like my content, subscribe, and uh, yeah, let me know if you want to see anything in the future.